What's up guys? It's Wednesday, so you know what that means. We back for another Waterfowl Wednesday. Today we're gonna to be talking about our new waders that me and Kay's got for this upcoming season. And this year we decided to go with the Frog Tog Migration Series Grand Refuge 2.0. Breathable waders. And uh obviously we ain't tried them out yet. Because it ain't duck season. But this will be our first year trying breathable waders. So we're looking forward to it. We've always worn neoprene in the past. This, I got four years out of my last pair of neoprene waders. Kay got, I don't know, about what, two, two seasons out of yours. So we can't complain about them. But this year we're gonna try the breathable waders. They're the new thing out. Everybody's going to breathable. So we're gonna try them out. I'm excited about them. I got mine in the Realtree Max 5 camo. And then Cade, Cade opted in his for the real tree timber. One thing I like about these breathable waders, if you was to take a dunk and get wet, or maybe in the rain and you got water down inside your waders, fell down, whatever, we've all been there, it happens. They are color coded and labeled. If you had to take your liner out to throw in the dryer on low, on low heat or hang out to air dry, it's got a tag that says the front, green is obviously your top and if you go down into your legs each leg has its own color the left leg has a orange zipper and the right leg I believe has an, a black one if I remember right yeah orange has a black so you gotta take your your liner out to throw in the dryer or hang up to air dry you don't end up putting them in backwards or wrong legs and got everything mixed up they have the buckles on them which is something I really like I've had velcro in the past and I hate it because when you bend down it pulls tight and stretches but that's what neoprene waders do they don't they're not as flexible as these so looking forward to that I like waders that have d-rings on them so you can hang your carabiner clips for your your Texas rig decoys and if waders don't have a shell belt built in shell holder area in the front I won't buy them because I don't like to wear a clip on shell belt because it flops around and it's heavy and it gets in the way I like to be built made onto my waders so I like that it also has the removable waist belt if you want to cinch it down tight at your waist you can or you can take it off and just let it be loose if you need to if it's a really cold day and you really got to put on some extra clothing and Maybe you don't want that, take it off. It's got belt loops, you can take it on and off when and if you want to wear it. It's got a waterproof pocket up top, the waterproof seal zipper, it's fleece lined so you could put your phone in there or you know, whatever, and your phone, your license or something like that. But you probably want to put your license here. It has a little clear pouch on the inside that folds out. That way if you did run up on the game ward or something, you could just whoop it out real quick and it's it's dry and it won't get wet in this pouch and the hand pockets on the side are fleece warm or fleece lined not fleece warm so hopefully they'll be warm since they're fleece lined but all in all it's a pair of waders so you ain't really much to talk about it's got these have 1200 grams of, ins of insulate insulation on them and they have different options you can get on the Frog Tog website. Um, I did not buy these from Frog Togs. I got these off of Amazon and they were a pretty good deal. Amazon had them on there for like 250 bucks. Um, I've seen them a little bit higher buying them from like Dick Sporting Goods, places like that. So if you're interested in a pair, I would check out Amazon because they seem to have the better deal on them. Same ones, K's have got the exact same waders. Here's just in a different pattern. Still got the tags on them, so we ain't even tried them out yet. We're looking forward to it. We've never wore breathable waders before. I think they're going to be comfortable, but I've also heard some bad things too. But there's bad things about neoprene waders too. So personal preference, really. But if you like this video, smash that like button for me. Waterfowl videos watch time is down this time of year during the off season, so it really helps me out if you hit that like button. And like always. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click the notification bell so you stay up to date anytime we post a video. And we're putting these out every Wednesday now on the Waterfowl Wednesday. So you can expect one every Wednesday. Until next time, guys, 
Y'all bust them up.